Hey guys, it's Tony the Wyoming with Survival and Tactics. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, but uh, I felt the need I need to do this one just because I'm not seeing much on YouTube uh, just for a basic operation of this radio. All right, so what I got here is my emergency communications kit, my uh, long distance kit here. I'll open it up and we'll talk about it. All right, this is, I think, a Condor uh, Nalgene water bottle pouch. All right, inside, I've got the U-Kits TJB2. I think it's the 2016 version. I'm not really sure, all right? So this is my HF transceiver. All right, so this radio does three bands, all right? It uh, does 40, 20, 17 meters. That's all the band it does, all right? It's got a S meter display on the screen. It also does CW, so if you know Morse code, you can do that. It comes with a battery pack, a charger, a hand mic, and then it actually comes with a molly pouch, but it's just it's too small. The radio better really fits. Um, it's got a little LCD screen. It does a 3 to 5 watt output. All right. Uh, it runs from 1 hertz, 10 hertz, 100 hertz, 1 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, and 100 kilohertz uh, tuning. You can tune it that way. That's also, when you put it to 100 the 100 kilohertz, that's how you jump from uh, 7, or I mean from 40 to 20 to 17 meters. Alright, it'll do 40 memories, alright. Um, it's really simple. I'm going to turn this on here, but I'm not going to key it. Alright, so right here on the side, battery off, external battery. So we have a plug-in for an external battery, plug-in for a charger, our mic, um, for a hand mic, but that also works as a key. All right. So also, you can have an external key. You plug it in with a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter jack, and right in there, and you can key it. It also has a push to talk on the side. All right. We uh, turn it on. All right. It's lit up. Right now, I got it on 40 meters. All right. So we push the mode button. It goes to upper side band. CW lower side band pretty easy a B it can jump back and forth uh, memory or go ahead and direct and then to program your memory hit memory button that's pretty easy uh, real simple it's got an external speaker which sucks I'm gonna tell you guys that right now if you buy this radio expect to uh, put headphones in it works so much better all right uh, let me turn it back on I had our tuning knobs right here, that tunes up or down, and then this right here, the AF gain, that's basically your mic, or I mean your speaker control, your volume control, All right? It does run with a BNC connector, um, there's your headphones jack if you want to put your headphones in. It has a lithium uh, battery pack, 1600 milliamps, All right? I got the tape on here to keep it closed. Real simple. Uh, Real simple design, real easy to learn. It, it does not come with any instructions. Uh, I th I've seen the 2016 had a little bit of instructions you have to download. Comes with nothing. Thing comes from China. I ordered it off uh, eBay. Comes from China. It took a few weeks to get. Expect to wait a bit. All right. Is this the best radio? Probably not. Uh, you know. Does it work for what I what I want to use it for? Yeah. Um, I don't have my general license yet, so I can't talk. Um, I can do Morse code on a, uh, the 40 meter band. Um, don't really know Morse code, I'm trying to learn it now. Uh, I got another friend who's also a technician, so we, we mess around. Um, but if to test the radios, we, you can use Morse code. He don't have anything to really test. I really have no one to practice with. But I do have this for my uh, emergency communications for, for my distance, okay? Now, one thing I do like about this radio is it's fairly small. It does voice HF frequencies, right? 40 meters, your go-to meter for uh, most emergency stuff. Works, it's pretty consistent, not great. Um, 20 meters, a lot of people are on. 17 meter, I don't know anybody that really uses 17 meter. I'm gonna state right now, I am not a big ham guy, all right? I don't know a lot of this stuff, so if some of you guys are big ham guys, and you, you know, I'm saying something wrong, I don't wanna hear it. Or you can tell me, but I'm not a ham guy. I'm admitting that right now. Anyway, so this is my kit. 
like I said, it's in a bag. Let's look what I got in here because it's got a lot, my whole communication set up. All right, my external mic, my earbuds. Here I have the 3.5 to 3.5 jack for a key, external key. Oh, and I've got a, oh, I can't even remember where it was. It's called like a mini spy key, all right? Tiny CW key. In my front pouch, I've got some, I think it's a RG174U lightweight cable, BNC on the ends. I had to put a PL239 adapter on there. I've got just a couple ferret chokes on there. Here, I actually have two in, uh, dipoles. I have a 20 meter and a 40 meter dipole made out of a 22 gauge wire. They're cut to length, so I don't need a tuner. All right, I made this center connector myself. And then I have an extra BNC adapter in there. This kit right here, what I have, this kit is will work uh, all I need for a communication kit. All right, um, I can string this stuff up with what's in here and talk all over. You know, how depending on the propagation, talk all over the world, at least all over the United States. Oh, that's one thing. In these are QRP radios. I already mentioned the wattage, but that means you know, low low power. So that's only one of five watts. It's not going to be the same as if you had a 100 watt radio and you're trying to talk. You'll have a lot better luck. But this one thing about QRP, they're lightweight. Obviously, I got this whole setup in one little bag right there. So that's communication. Uh, my communication setup. All right. So I'm not going to. One thing about antennas, we got to get them high in the tree. And it's hard to get, you know, tie a stick to this or a rock to throw it up in the tree. Um, now there is some things you, you might need outside of your outside of this kit that I would need to get your antennas high enough. All right, one thing right here, slingshot. I got a reel connected to it. All right, and I got a one ounce uh, lead weight. I shoot this over the tree. All right, down to the other side. Then I reel my line, my uh, antenna back up into the tree with this okay so that's something else you're going to need uh, to go along with your kit something else you might need is a spool of some sort of twine uh, to pull especially since I'm running dipoles to pull the line up and tie it off okay so yes this kit right here minus this I can talk I'm not going to be able to get the antennas probably much more higher than eight Probably if I'm not higher than eight or nine feet in the air, all right? Um, but this will work for local communication, local emergency communication, eight, nine feet in the air. I should be able to get it, should act as an Invis antenna, and I should have a three to 500 mile range around my, around me, all right? Like I said, is this as good as a Yasu FT817? No, probably not, but I'm not gonna fit a Yasu 817 in this bag, all right? So, uh, I know this radio's out, and I just haven't seen many people discussing the function of it, uh, how it works, and uh, what do they think about it. So I just thought I'd make this video, because when I was searching and wanting to see some reviews on it, I was getting nothing. All right. um, one other thing about this setup, as I have it right now, I do not have any way to charge uh, the battery for this. Obviously, I would need some sort of a uh, way to charge it, which would make the package a lot larger. Um, I am looking at some small foldable uh, solar panels to get it charged. Uh, probably going to be in a bigger pouch than this once I get the panel in there. Uh, but as right now, you know, if I keep it charged and only use it, you know, keep it charged up, um, I'll be all right. But I just wanted to bring that also up that uh, without some sort of way to charge this, I, you know, once the batteries are dead, I'm done. This is Tony with Wyoming Surround Tactics. Remember, train hard today for uncertain tomorrow.